um, discussions about laws of logarithms. And one of the things that I remember when I was your age, they were just thrown at me. They're like, here are the rules for the laws of logarithms and really didn't tell us where they came from. So today I'd actually like to take you through a couple of them and show you where they do come from. Um, I think if you look at rules four, five, and six, and seven, if we use the property that we always know, um, that if we have, um, just take a look at them. So if you want to hit pause and just look at each one of these rules, um, let's start off with uh, rule four. If we go back to something like this, if like we have, you know, y equals a, b, I'm sorry, a to the x power, and I want to write this in log form, you write it as log base a of y is equal to x, right? So we can go back and forth. So we can say that a to the x is equal to y. And if we want to write this exponential equation in terms of a log, we do log base a of y is equal to x. So that was, this is one of the prettiest things, like when we define logs, it's right here that this is one of our best friends. And it's going to help us with something like rule number four, because it should make sense if you were to write this, that it says log base b of one is equal to zero. And if you were to write this as an exponent, right, you can write it b to the zero is equal to one, which is true. Okay. So that means then log base b of one is equal to zero. So log base anything. So if I do log base two of one, that's going to equal zero. If I do log base three of one, that is also going to equal zero. If I do log base four of one, that's going to equal zero. If I do log base one half of one, that's going to equal zero because again, you know, two to the zero is equal to one, three to the zero is equal to, so again, if I do it, two to the zero is equal to the one, three to the zero, whoops, that's three to the zero is equal to one, four to the zero is equal to one and so forth. And one half to the zero is also equal to one. So this is basically, this is a pretty little log property, log base, um, log base of anything of one will always give you zero, which segues right into this little cutie patootie right here, that log base, you know, B of itself will always equal one. And again, if you write this in exponential form, you get B to the first is equal to B. And that is in fact a very true statement. So that is basically saying, let's go to a new color because you know I love, I love to change the color. So this is saying log base, you know, five, of five is equal to one log base six of six is equal to one you know log base point seven of point seven is equal to one it makes sense because again if you put it in exponential form five to the fifth is equal to five six to the first is equal to six point seven to the first is equal to point seven right so that also works and what's more over here which is a really handy dandy little thing and it might come in you know useful to you later hint hint is that if you do log base b of b to the k, you will get k. And again, writing this in exponential form, you do get b to the k is equal to b to the k, right? So again, it's saying that if you have, you know, log base, you know, 10 of 10 cubed, this is going to equal three, you know, log base five of five to the fourth is going to equal four, you know? So if I said to you log base six of six to the seventh, you're all going to tell me it's, you got it, it's seven. So in other words, these are really good things to know as we're going along and it's going to be super helpful to us. So if I said like, you know, log base three of um, one, you're going to say, oh, it's three, because again, you want to see how you can rewrite each one of these in exponential form. And it's using these cute little laws of logs. I took this and grabbed something over, uh, grabbed something over here. Um, over here, I mean, no, this should be zero, not one. It should be zero. I hope you guys said C-Schwad should be zero. I'm just checking to see if you're paying attention. So that should be a zero. Okay. All right. So three to the zero equals one. Six to the seven equals six to the seven. Five to the fourth equals five to the fourth and so forth. And then this one here is a really cute one too, is that um, B to the log base B of K is equal to K. So what that's saying is that if you have like two to the log base two of four, it's going to equal four. The claim is it's going to equal four. And let's find out why, okay? So if I set it equal to y or I set it equal to x or anything like that, again, it's all about going back and forth into this exponential, uh, you know, log um, form. So you can just go back and forth and how I'm even going to do this, that it works both ways and however we want to make it. This is technically an exponential equation, so therefore, um, so therefore we want to write it in terms of a log, right? So if we rewrite it in terms of a log and you want to press pause, okay, 
you would have log base 2 of y is equal to log base 2 of 4, right? So if you have log base 2 of y equals log base 2 of 4, the only thing that's going to make these two equal is if y is equal to, yes, if it's equal to 4, okay? So again, if you have something like, let's change the color, let's get you out of here. So if we change the color, so if we have something like log base, whoops, not there yet. So if we have 5 to the log base 5 of 8, okay? Again, we'll set it equal to x. Why not? Because we can set it equal to anything we want. So again, right now this is an exponential form, so if we want to write it into log form, we're going to have log base 5 of x is equal to log base 5 of 8. The only thing that x can equal is 8. So in other words, if you want them to equal each other, x has to equal 8. So that's another sweet little rule that you have right over there um, when you have that. So these are pretty these are pretty straightforward rules that we have here. Now, if you look up on the other hand, these are the ones that get a little interesting. So it's saying log base b, if I take m and multiply it by n, it's the same as writing it as a sum. If I take log base b of m over n, it's the same thing as log base b of log base uh, minus log base b of n. And then this is a real fun rule that log base b of m to the k is the same thing as k times log base b of m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where the um, two rules, uh, numbers one and two, come from. Your homework over the next two days is to figure out how the third one works. So that's for you. This is yours. So you, along with whoever you feel like working with, are going to do that. But I am going to show you rules one and two. Okay? So moving on. So moving on to the new one. So now we want to show, you know, why log base, I'm going to do A because I like that, of M times N is equal to log base a of m plus log base a of n. And right now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put on a clever, clever hat. All right, so I'm going to put on my clever hat. Clever, it's clever. It's with an H, clever. My clever, clever hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, here's where we get clever. So we're trying to show that this is the same thing as this. So we're going to let m equal a to the x and then n equal a to the y. Because here's the thing that I want to share with you. The most important thing to remember is that these properties come from properties of exponents, okay? So these properties come from properties of exponents, and I want to show you why and how that works, okay? So if I write this as a product, m times n, that's going to be equal to a to the x times a to the y, right? If I multiply those two together. So again, right now, I am in exponential form, and I know that this rule right here, I can write as, a, as, a, as the sum. So I can do m to the n is equal to a to the x plus y. So right now, I have my exponential, and I want to say to you, here's where we're going to go ahead and uh, figure out some stuff. So going back up to the fact that if m is equal to a to the x, you automatically know that log base a of m is equal to x, right? If you like, if you take this in exponential form and write it in log form, you get this. And then if you write this in log form, what do you get? Yes, you get log base a of n is equal to y. So these two are, are working in tandem, right? That this is the exponential version of this in log form. So I went down here, I multiplied these two together because somehow I got to get some kind of a product. And now what I want to show you is that it's going to come to life, that I can replace x with log base a of m, because that's what x is equal to, and I can take y and replace it with log base a of n. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I have m times n is equal to a to the log base a of m plus log base a of n, okay? So I just replaced my two exponents with these two things right over here. And right now, again, I am still in exponential form, but now I want to write everything in log form. So now if I write this, if I write this whole equation in log form, I'm going to have log base A of M N, check it out, it's all coming together, is equal to log base A of M plus log base A of N. And sure enough, we actually showed that this is exactly where you get that up there. So now let's show it's just a quick example of why that actually works. Okay, let's show a quick example. So let's say that, you know, 
the m is equal to, let's say m is equal to 2 to the third, and then n is equal to 2 to the fifth, right? If we go through this whole thing down here, right, m times n, so it's going to be 2 to the third times 2 to the fifth. I am literally just substituting it in over here, right? I already know is equal to, you know, a to the, we're going to skip to this line over here, a to the 3 plus 5. Yes? And what I want to do is I'm going to write this in terms of a log. So if I write this in terms of a log, so right now I'm literally doing this step right here. So if I write this in terms of a log, this becomes log base A of 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 5th. It looks like 25 instead of 2 to the 5th, right? And that's going to be equal to 3 plus 5, interestingly enough, right? So I took this, I wrote it in log form. And then this becomes 8, so this should be a, I should make that 2, it's not an A, it's a 2, right? I mean, because this is not even an equivalent statement. And so, let me go back here, make this a 2, Mama Schwann is screwing up, but that's my life, I'm a screw up, here we go, okay. So we have this, right? So now we know that this is equal to 8, so we have log base 2 of 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 5th is equal to 8. And again, if I write this in exponential form, I get 2 to the 8th is equal to 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 5th. So it's actually showing that we can go ahead and mess around with our log stuff and show that everything works out quite nicely when we're doing this, okay? So if you have, you know, log base A, so in other words, so if we have log base 2 of 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 5th, right? This is saying we have log of 2 of 2 to the third plus log of two of two to the fifth. So now if you go back to this over here, this is what I wanted to show you also, and I didn't do such a good job before, is that log base two of two to the third, and remember, go off to the side if you do log base two of two to the third and you set that equal to x, what is that gonna give you? Because two to the x equals two cubed. So yes, this is gonna give you three. Log base two of two to the fifth, that should give you 5, right? Because if I set that equal to x, I would have 2 to the x equals 2 to the 5th. The only thing that it could equal is 5, so this is plus 5. So now I have log, I'm running out of room. You know how guys know how much I love that. So now I have, I'll change the color so we can actually see it. So now I have log base 2 of 2 cubed times 2 to the 5th is equal to 3 plus 5, which is equal to 8. And again, this, if I do 2 to the 8th, I get this, so it brings me back up there. So when you use your laws of logs, you can actually see that it actually works. So we just proved that this one is true. Now we're going to do the same thing with division, okay? So we start this one over here. We're saying log base A of M over N is equal to log base A of M minus log base A of N. And again, we're going to use our exponents because it all comes from exponents, okay? So given that it all happens to come from exponents, we are going to let, again, m equal a to the x. We are going to let n equal a to the y. And again, if you think about it, if you can write something in exponential form, you should automatically write it in log form. If you have something in log form, you should be able to write it in exponential form. So this is log base a of m is equal to x. And this is log base a of n is equal to y. So now, if we go ahead and do m divided by n, we get a to the x divided by a to the y, which is a to the x minus y, right? So now we have m over n is equal to a to the, yep, we're going to substitute this in for x. So now we have log base a of m and then minus y, which is now log base a of n. So here we go, and you can see it coming to fruition that if we are now in exponential form and we write this in log form, we get log base a of m over n is equal to log, of a, log base a of m minus log base a of n. Woo-hoo! So again, let's go ahead with that, you know, we'll let, you know, m equal to cubed, and we'll let n equal to to the fifth. So if we go over here, so this is basically saying that if you have log base 2, this is 2 of 
2 cubed divided by 2 to the 5th. That should be 2 cubed. That doesn't look like it's to the 2 cubed divided by 2 to the 5th. That is going to be equal to log base 2 of 2 cubed minus log base 2 of 2 to the 5th, right? So now, when we're over here, so we're just going to chill out over here, and we're just going to rewrite this because this is just 2 cubed divided by 2 to the 5th, right? Equals, so now over here, log base 2 of 2 cubed. Log base 2 of 2 cubed. Always go off to the side, and if you have to, like, let that equal x, and you're like, oh, 2 to the x. Okay, so I know that's going to be 3, and then if I do log base 2 of 2 to the 5th, again, let that equal y or a or c or whatever the heck you want to call it, so it's 2 to y. So that's going to be equal to 5, so I get negative 2 on this side, and now I have log base 2 of 2 cubed over 2 to the 5th. So if I write this, this is in log form. Remember, if you're in log form, you should be able to go to exponential form. If you're in exponential form, you should be able to go back into log form. So we have 2 to the negative 2 is equal to 2 cubed divided by 2 to the 5th, and sure enough, it all works out. Now, your job, your job is to see if you can come up with y log base a of m to the k power is the same thing as k times log base a of m. This is for you to see if you can figure it out. And the cool thing is, is I would try numbers, of course, numbers that absolutely positively work and see if it's going to work out or not, and then see if you can do a general thing like I did, okay? And then at some point we will meet up and see what we all come together with, okay? Um, there'll be some problems for you to do and like there will be really some fun things. I'll have um, stuff that you can actually go ahead and work on using your laws of logs. Um, I'll probably make yet another video um, on logarithms and then we'll just kind of take it from there.